This tutorial will show you how to write and run a Python program using the terminal on a Mac. To open the terminal, we type command space, T-E-R, and then hit enter. This opens an application that looks something like this. By default, it's black text on a white background, but we can change this by going into the preferences and making the font bigger, a different color, and the background a darker color. We expand the terminal to a larger size by clicking and dragging. In the terminal, we can type ls to list the files in the current directory. In the terminal, we can type cd to change directory, and then capital D, ES, tab to go to our desktop. We press enter, and now we're on our desktop. The command make dir sample will make a new directory called sample on our desktop. We'll then change directory into this directory for the purpose of this video. Clear will remove all the other commands on the screen. When we type ls now, we see no files. We can make a single file by typing touch uh, p.py to create a file with the name p and the extension .py. Now if we list the files, we'll see our single file p.py. We can use a built-in text editor on Mac called vim to edit this file. We type vim and then the name of the file and press enter. Now we're in the vim editor and we can press the letter i to enter insert mode where we can type characters into our program. One of the simplest Python programs is simply a call to the print statement. And so we can type print, double quote, and then our message. We press escape, colon, write, and then W and Q to write this code and then quit the editor. Typing ls, we see our program again, and we can run it one of two ways. Python 2 is installed by default on the Mac, and Python 3 can be installed from the Python website. Once, if you have Python 2 and Python 3 installed, then Python 2 can be accessed by typing the word Python, and Python 3 can be accessed by typing Python 3. As a quick side note, you can get to an interactive mode by simply typing the word Python in the terminal and clicking enter. Here we can see this is Python version 2.7. When we type exit with brackets, we can exit that interactive mode. We press the up arrow to get to the last command we entered, and we can press Python 3 now to enter the Python 3 interactive editor. If you investigate what this interactive editor does, you'll see that you can type lines of Python code directly into this prompt, and they'll execute every time you press enter. We'll exit this for now, type clear, and then type ls to look at our current file again. To review the contents of this file, we can type cat.py in order to print out all the contents that are inside that file. But we want to run this file as a Python program. So we'll type the command python3, and then the name of our file, and then click enter. This runs our Python 3 program and prints hello world. Another alternative way that we can run a Python program that still involves the terminal, but it's a bit easier to edit, is by using any text editor that's available. In this video, we'll use a text editor called Atom. I open the text editor Atom by clicking its icon, and, the, and it looks like this. This is just a blank Atom window where we can type text. And if I type a different program, and I click Save, and I can name my file p2.py, I'll save this file on my desktop in the sample directory. Now going back to the terminal, we can see that by using Atom, the text editor, we did create a new file, and it has this contents. We can run this file like we did our other one by typing python3 and then the name of our program. Type clear to remove the input from the terminal. Now let's now with this environment set up, let's write a more complex program. Let's write a program that lets the user enter a file name. Our program will then read the contents of that file and print them to the screen. Here's a few Python commands that we'll use to make this program. These two lines of Python will open a file called p.py and then print the lines of that file to the screen. As we see at the top of the screen, we've written this code in p.p2.py. So let's run p2.py and verify that it prints the contents of p.py to the screen. And as we can see here, that's what it does. But we don't want to just print only p.py, we want to print any file to the screen. So let's write this line here to get some input from the user. This line will print this message to the screen and then save whatever the user enters to this variable. We'll then take that variable and use that as the file name that we want to open. And again, when that's done, we'll print the lines to the screen. We press the up arrow to get to the last command we entered and run our program. If we enter p.py as the file name, it prints hello world. Let's see what happens when we enter the file name of the file that our program is running in. It prints the contents of our program. That concludes this video on how to run a Python program. To download the Atom text editor, you can go to atom.io. To learn more about Vim, you can go to a terminal and type vimtutor. When you press enter and enter again, you'll see this file. This is a complete tutorial on how to use the Vim editor in the Vim editor. To install Python or Python 3, 
you can go to python.org. Thanks for watching.